Welcome to my travel vlog. I'm so excited to show you all of the amazing places I went to on my summer trip. This might be a long vlog, but we have two separate unboxings in the video, as well as over six blind box stores to go to, but everything is timestamped below if you want to skip around. My first stop on my vacation was actually Calgary, and I didn't have much footage because I was visiting family. I spent most of my time hanging out with my nephew, he's so fun to be around, and we don't get to see each other often. I did include some random clips from around this city, and here is a clip of this science center. I thought this exhibit was really cool, I just had to share it. And we went rafting down the Bow River, which goes through the middle of downtown Calgary. was so peaceful and fun, I loved it. I also visited Token, which opened up just after my autumn trip in November of last year. It's inside the Chinook Mall, which is the biggest, fanciest mall in the city. store was amazing. I loved the design of it and it had a good selection of blind boxes. 
I really liked the crane game machine as well. It had some adorable Sanrio plushies in it. I was so tempted, but I decided to only pick up one blind box as it was my first store. It was so hard to choose which one, but it was really hot, so I picked up this cute cinema roll fan blind box. They also had Karomi designs as well for this series. I will be doing a treasure trove video tomorrow where I unbox five blind boxes from five different stores that I went to. And a token, I also got this adorable cinema roll sticker. And the only other thing I picked up from the mall was some cute Sanrio items from Hot Topic and a Sailor Moon enamel pin, which is also a blind box, so that'll be in the video tomorrow. We don't have Hot Topic in the city I live in, so I always go to it when I go to a different city. Now let's go ahead and get into our first unboxing. I decided to give my nephew a bunch of Demu blind boxes. And the unboxing might be a bit all over the place, but I just let him be himself, so it was a bit chaotic. But I think he really enjoyed himself, so I hope you do too. Which one is the aquarium? This one, the blue one. Uh, I like the shark one and the penguin. Oh, the penguin those are cool and the ones. Shark and the orc. And then take it out. Isn't that cool? His lantern? Yeah, his lantern glows in the dark. He's uh, an anglerfish. So that one glows in the dark. So this glows in the dark. I thought you would like it because it glows in the dark. You like it though? Yeah, now yeah. I should open this one. Okay, here. I like all. You like all of them? Yeah, the mm -hmm. space ones are really cool. I like them all too. Mm -hmm. I have some of them already. For me, I have the monster boy one and i have flower boy Mo where, what the this monster one's boy? monster boy down here and mm -hmm. then i have flower boy i really want kitty space boy this one's my favorite i really really want to get it but they're all cool i love but all this of one's these. a mystery yeah that one's the mystery one so clown. you don't know which one you're gonna it's get clown you think it's a clown they actually have a series of this where they're all clowns too Oh, which one you're going to get? This. <laughs> it's just like a silica packet so they don't get sticky. If a card. Are. This one comes with a card. This one comes with... Do you want to look at the card first? The card's going to spoil you who's inside. Oh. <laughs> here. And then open it here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so on these, there is a rip. You see here where oh, there's yeah. a little indent? You can rip there. <laughs> oh, yours has red hair. Oh, look at that one. So cool. this one is called Jet Boy. Hey! What? Yeah, the head spins around. Is his? Yeah, all of their heads spin around. Ah! Yeah, you can even take them off for some of them. Not all of them, though. Can this one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, for that one. What's... Do you want to do that one? And we'll oh, do yeah. the Jurassic one last. Okay, so look on the side. Yeah. And which one do you like? The bumblebee. The Ooh. bat... I and like the, the bat panda. one too. Ooh, and the panda. And the butterfly. And, and the, butterfly. the and this one and this one and this one. And this one you like a lot of these ones too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh. This one comes with a card too. Yeah, they all come with the card. Um not gonna look. You're not gonna look? Okay, it's gonna be a surprise. And then just open it here. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and here's another one. This one is called Wild Man. So it's like a primal man back in the day with a piece of meat, a giant piece of meat. 
Ooh, do you like the card? I like the card for this one. It's pretty. Pink and purple and blue. So now, time to do this one. <laughs> Here. Look at the side. Yeah. I like all. I like this one, this one, and this one. And then this one, and this one, and this one. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this Is, one. That's all of them. No, not all. I think that's all of them. Okay, which one does Auntie like? Auntie wants the the birth of the baby dinosaur. And I want the secret edition. It's a big T-Rex. Ooh, and I like Haga Dinosaur is really cute or Dinosaur Trainer. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, that's a big set. And it comes with a, a car, but I'm not going to spoil me this time. Okay. Oh, what one is that? It has a camera. Oh, cool. Here. You have a camera. He's going to watch a camera because he has a camera. Yeah. Do you like the dinosaur? It's pink. Yeah. Do you want the dinosaur? No, you can keep these. These are for you. His head comes off. Her head doesn't. His and his. These must go together. Oh, no, these don't go together. Yeah, I don't know if any of them will fit with each other. <laughs> That would be nice if they made them so the heads could go on other ones, though. That would be neat. That's all. Is that all? Yep, that's all. Which oh, where's one? my card? Oh, here. oh, for that one. Yeah, it's inside. Ooh, it's in the shape of an egg. I want to keep the cards. Yeah, you can keep the cards. What was this one? That one is called Forest Night. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was that one. And this one that you just opened is called Growth Recorder because the Dimu is recording the dinosaur growing by taking pictures. Which one was your favorite? Which one you like the most out I of all know. four? Which one do you? I think I like Jet Boy the most. Jet Boy is really cool, but I also really like dinosaurs. His, his fire is mad. Yeah. Uh -huh, I like Jet Boy. Yeah, you like Jet Boy? They glow in the dark. Yeah, it glows in the dark. I don't know if we can see it. During the day, but we could try testing it. You know my head comes off. You like popping the heads off? And now we're off to Vancouver.
Now for Vancouver, I mostly have footage of the stores I went to because again, I was visiting my family and also seeing my West Coast friends. But one of the first places I went to was the beach. I grew up near the ocean and I think you can tell how much I love the water. So being able to go to my favorite rec beach was such a treat. And I also went to a lake with my cousin to swim on another day and it was amazing. Thank you to my friends who came with me and drove me there. It was such a birthday treat. The next day, I also went to Metrotown, which I think is still the biggest mall in Vancouver. It's actually my old high school hangout because I went to school not far from it. So it was so trippy. I even went to the anime figure store that I used to go to as a teenager, which is wild. It's still overpriced, so I didn't pick anything up, but I really wanted to. Sailor Moon and Miku are my weakness. There is also another token in the mall. I believe there's three token stores in the Vancouver area and then the one in Calgary. This one was quite small. It used to be bigger in a different part of the mall, but now it's pretty tiny. But even though it was tiny, it had all of the new Finding Unicorn series. I was so impressed. I also really loved the selection they had. They had a lot of different series, although not a lot of Pop Mart. It was so hard to decide what to pick up, but I decided on the new Amy Picnic with Butterfly series. I really wanted it to be one of the new Finding Unicorn series, although I feel like I should have gotten a Repolar one as well. And of course this one is going to be in tomorrow's treasure trove. And I really loved how they had open, unboxed figures you could buy for cheap, and the more you bought, the cheaper it was. I also bought three open figures for $30, so they were $10 each, which is really good. I got an Adams Family Skull Panda figure and two Hapako figures that I couldn't resist. I wish I'd picked up more from this store. I actually went back with my friend after we had lunch at a high tea cafe that was nearby. She decided to pick up the Pang Hoop blind box because she calls her nephew Tigers, which is so cute. She got one of the baby ones of Pang Hu. I want to send her some of my own Pang Hu figures now, so she has more of a collection.
There was also a robo shop round by token in the same mall, but I didn't pick anything up, but it did have a lot of variety of indie brands. And I also went to several other stores while in Metro Town, like this random toy store that had Roll Life Blind boxes, which is a Korean stationery store. It had so many K-pop merch items, but I only bought some Sanrio stationery from there. I went to two Japanese living stores, Daiso and Omomo, which are like dollar store, but in Canada it's way more expensive. It's about three to five dollars per item. My mission was stickers and stationery because that's what could fit in my luggage and we don't have a much available in my city. Plus I wanted to get some gifts for my friends so I did buy a lot of stickers. of all of the stationery I picked up for these stores. It is a lot, so I hope you enjoy listening to some royalty-free K-pop. the metro town trip i met up with my best friend and we went to miniso together she had bought me a lot of miniso blind boxes for my birthday so she told me which ones so i didn't get repeat boxes if i didn't want to
I went on a bit of a Sanrio shopping spree. I really wanted the Sanrio bath mat, but it wouldn't fit in my luggage. And I even went to a second mini so on my last day in Vancouver with my aunt and got even more blind boxes. Here's a quick look at all of the mini so blind boxes I ended up picking up and a few other Sanrio themed items that I couldn't resist. <laughs> Oh, and I totally forgot to include some of the snacks I picked up from various stores like Omomo and TNT as well. Most of this we can get in my city, but I just picked out a few gummies for my partner because he really loves gummies and I hadn't seen these available yet. And speaking of food, I totally forgot to film all of the delicious food I got while in Vancouver, which is a shame because I ate so well. I tried to eat sushi almost every day I was there. And if it wasn't sushi, it was fresh fish or poke. My best friend totally spoiled me for my birthday. Here's a quick look at what she bought me. She's so amazing. It's cool to get blind boxes. I'll be sure to do an unboxing of all of her boxes in August. And now we get to one of the biggest days of the trip. This was my second to last day in Vancouver. In the morning, I met up with my best friend and Winter. If you've ever watched a live stream before, you might know my moderator on my channel, Winter. It was so fun to meet her. This is our first time meeting in person. She gave me this super cute illustration and we met at a Pop Mart Robo Shop which sadly didn't work but it was still fun to check out the Pop Mart Robo Shop and it had so many new series. It was a total bummer. After meeting up, we hopped on the sea bus to go to Minicom Art Market, which is basically the artist alley of their anime convention. The quick boat ride to North Van was really fun, and you can see a really good view of downtown Vancouver from North Van.
we had so much fun going through all of the stalls and checking out the artists and cosplayers. I spent more money than I was expecting, but there were some really cool things. I'll put up on the screen some of the things I bought, but I got a few enamel pins, some stickers which were mostly presents, and my best friend even gifted me an art print which was awesome. My favorite thing though was this amazing art book of portrait illustrations. I thought it was so cool. I'll be sure to link all of the artists below that I purchased from if you're interested in their work, and then the link to the event if you're curious about anything you saw. We definitely had a lot of fun there. After we finished up there, we headed back on the boat to the SkyTrain to go to Aberdeen Centre. I've always enjoyed going to Aberdeen Centre, even though it's in Richmond, which is pretty far out. But I always like going to it because it used to have the biggest Daiso, but apparently it's an Omomo now. One thing I noticed about this store though is they had an anime figure selection, which was really surprising and it was really good. It had a lot of good and recent figures and the prices I think were pretty reasonable. I had to take a clip though because I was really shocked to see this inside of what used to be a Daiso. We also checked out the Gachapon store that's been around for years. I never really bought a lot from this Gachapon store, but if you really like those machines, this is the store to go to. But after wandering around the mall for a little bit, we went to our main reason to going all the way out to Richmond, which is the first official Pop Mart store in North America. They've opened up other ones now, but this was technically the first one. It's located in a strip mall near Aberdeen Center, and it is really small, but I did love seeing the large figures. The Demu astronaut with the kitty, I want that in my living room so badly. It is so cool. I even took a selfie with it. Or the large skull panda. This large skull panda was beautiful as well. I was also surprised to see that the store had a small selection of anime figures as well. It wasn't all Pop Mart, which was really surprising to me. It also had a lot of collab series, even ones that normally weren't available online in Canada, or were only available if you bought like the full series. So I was really excited to see that there was so many series to look at. They also had a bunch of displays, which was really cool. I really enjoyed having a look around the store. One step behind 
It was really fun to check out my first ever Pop Mart store. I hope you enjoyed seeing it too. Maybe next time we can check out a bigger one in South Korea. I would love to do more travel vlogs. It was so hard to decide what to buy, but I have a few unboxings I wanted to share from outside the Pop Mart store that I did with Winter. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, I, I want all of them, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want all of them? No, well, I want this one, I guess. Like the red yeah, hair one. Yeah, the red one. one is so good. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you really like the blue one. Yeah. Alright, I hope you get it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> ah. I think I'll open up one of my... Um, of the Lord of the Rings ones. Yes! <laughs> I want to see what you get. Yeah, yeah, I'll open up one of mine. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh! Did you get the blue one? No. Oh, you got beach! <laughs> ah. 
She bought Hello Nori and ended up pulling my favorite one, Peach. She was so kind to trade it to me, so I went back inside and bought another Hello Nori for her and opened it up. I got one of my other favorites, but it wasn't one of Winter's favorites, but she says she likes the whole series. So hopefully she loves her new Nori. I think it's so cute. And it was a lot of fun unboxing with friends. <laughs> oh, oh this one's really cute! Oh, this is one of my other ones that I really like. Oh, cute! Yay! You like What's the pink hair? Yeah, pink hair. I love the shirt for this one. Is it a cottage? <laughs> I think the card's gonna be super cute. <gasps> oh, so she's cute. eating food! Like oh, that one? Girl. Yeah! That is so cute. Cute. Oh, Nari is so adorable. I think this one would be really good for swapping too. Yeah, for sure. I also opened up one of my Lord of the Rings blind boxes. I had so much fun trying to pick out the perfect two boxes. I really wanted to buy one, but Winter insisted I get the one I wanted and then the heaviest one. So do you think I got a good one? I don't think so. I I mean, I actually think Gimli is one of the cuter ones, yeah. but I definitely don't think it's Sauron, and that's the one I really want if it's not the Balrog. Or Gandalf. Yeah. It looks heavy too. Yeah. But Gimli, I think for sure, is the heaviest. The one bad thing about that Pop Mart store is because they refill all the time and they don't mark them, like you never know if you're getting the heaviest, right? right? right. Is this one the heaviest or no, no right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other one was the one where when you shook it, it didn't feel like it was all the size. Are you going to peek at the card? You want to peek at the no. card? No? Okay. I want to know what it is. Oh, uh, it's definitely a standy guy. Yeah, it could still be Sora. I saw all the cards. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's Gandalf! <laughs> ah, it's Gandalf! And the pipe. Oh, and the pipe! Oh, that's so that is cute! So cute. So while we were outside, I also unboxed the heaviest one. I love that I got Gandalf. I now have both wizards, which is really cool. And I'm definitely including the second Lord of the Rings box in tomorrow's video. I'm glad Winter convinced me to get two of them and not just the one, because Gandalf does look pretty cool, even though this series is weird. I just have such a soft spot for Lord of the Rings. We also found a Roll Life store on our walk back to the Sky Train, but I didn't know about it and sadly it was closed so we couldn't go. I think it had opened up somewhat recently, but I'm sad I didn't go to the Roll Life store. But maybe on another future trip to Vancouver, I'll have to check out the Roll Life store. I really wanted to do more that day, but we were starting to get tired and it was already pretty late, so we headed back downtown and I spent the night hanging out with my best friend. And I don't really have anything to show you for my last day. I spent it entirely at my aunt's house, celebrating my birthday with my family. It was so much fun. I was so so sad I didn't have more time to see more friends and do more things and show you more things. It was so hot I think I just completely forgot to vlog certain moments of my trip. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog and checking out Vancouver. Wishing you the best and join me tomorrow to see me unbox 5 blind boxes from my trip. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you have a great night.